Hello, welcome. Um, today we're going to do like show jumping grid work with Mr. Jones because I've been heavy on the hunting recently. I did take Mr. Jones for a show jumping lesson last week, but I didn't film it, you didn't see it, and I don't want my channel just to be hunting, hunting because I love it, but it's just a little sprinkling of what I'm about. So let's switch things up a bit, let's get back to the show jumping. McAllister's doing something strange in the field. Um, the tea is, it's Christmas Eve Eve, so I'm probably not going to get to ride tomorrow because my niece Jessica is starring in her first professional pantomime, so I'm going to go and watch that. Um, and then Christmas Day, I might try and get a ride in early in the morning, but I'm going to my sister's, so will I have time? I don't know, because also the glam squad are going to be arriving to get me all Christmas ready. The glam squad is me me I have to wash my hair and do my makeup and things. Good start. Everyone's running away from me. You won! It's you! You're coming in. Good boy. These troublemakers in the background. What are you two doing? Looking suspicious. Especially the little white one. Don't trust him. Cool. Excuse me sir. Look how muddy he is. What's that about? What's that for? Why would you do that to me? Thank you, good, good, good. I'm going to just groom him. I'm gonna do the bare minimum because it's filthy, we're not going anywhere. Um, just pretend when you're watching this video that he looks all lovely and shiny and there isn't crusty mud everywhere. Okay, thanks, bye. The problem that I've got here the problem that I've got is that the mud is still wet, so I can't really brush it out. <sighs> but I had my hair done the other day, and it's still looking pretty good. I mean, that's three days ago, and it's still fairly straight, even though I was hunting all day yesterday, and I've been sleeping with it in a bun. It's still straight, and it's still shiny. So, beauty tips. Follow for more. Like and subscribe. I would rather have a dirty horse that's turned out in a field than have a clean horse that's in the stable 24 7. I can't stand them being in the stable. I think it's just no good for them to be stood still for so long with nothing to do, nothing to look at. Um, I think physically and mentally it's good for them to be out. Um, but then there's a balance. <clears throat> As I learned the hard way last year, all three of mine lived out 24 7 which is what I would, that's what I would prefer. I'd love for that. I would love that for them. Um, but they all had mud fever. Billy's got infected frogs from it. So there's a balance. You can't have them stood in a muddy field. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing them in every night and washing their legs off. And then if it's really, really wet, they're staying in in the day as well and just coming out for a little poodle in the yard for however long I can get them out for. Um, and obviously being ridden and yeah if the field's dry enough they go out either all day or just for a few hours um, and as long as their feet are cleaned off and they're not just sat in mud all the time that's the um that's the key i think <laughs> I've actually been a little bit low energy so far today. Um, I mean, I came up and did the horses first thing this morning and I fed them, chucked them out in the field with loads of haylage and I thought, you know, I'm not even going to muck out, I'm going to go back to bed for an hour. And I was literally fast asleep for an hour and then I woke up and thought, right, let's get cracking. So I'm going to ride and then I'll muck out later. But how unlike me is that? I'm normally up and at it. I don't know whether it's because I went hunting all day yesterday and I'm a little bit tired or whether it's just like Christmas blues. Christmas blues. It's a thing. It's a thing. I, yeah. Like I'm generally a very happy, positive, energetic person. But something about this time of year, I don't know if it's because it's like forced fun. Not forced fun, but it's, you're told that now is merry and bright. So I'm like, no, no, I'll decide when I'm merry and bright. Thank you. 
not you. So, I don't know. I'm very introverted at the best of times. And, yeah, I'd quite happily just stay in my own company forever. Which is why I have three horses and two dogs. And, you know, my need for human interaction is very, very small. And at this time of year, I just feel the pressure a little bit. And I just want to ride my ponies, so I'll rally. But um, yeah, real talk, exposing myself on the internet as an antisocial introvert. I know what you're doing, you're going to congregate with the others. Yes, let's not, shall we? Let's not have that drama for today. Thank you, gentlemen, we'll be seeing you later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? I should say. Okay, so this is the setup. We're just gonna let that happen. They're all mature enough. They should be able to handle things. So there were some jumps already in here and I didn't want to interfere too much as it's not my menage. So I've left, there's one up in the top corner with the flags. I've left that, but I've got no intention of using it. Um, so what I've done, what I've done, let me show you. I've put, I've just put four trotting poles here and I've measured them. I'm not very good with distances on this sort of thing. So they're about a stride apart, just over because I've got small feet and small legs. So they're all about a stride, a stride different. And then that one's slightly raised, but shouldn't cause any problems. I've just got a basic cross pole to warm up over. And then the actual grid. I mean, it's nothing too difficult. It's nothing he's not done before. So we've got a tiny little bounce. So that I've strided out as three strides. So he's got room to land and then take off. And then here we've got a one strider distance to an upright with a pole in the middle of the stride. So we've got two strides to land human strides, I should be saying. So this I've measured out as three human strides and it will be his landing and his takeoff. This, I think, was it eight strides? But the pole was on, I don't know, stride four maybe? So there's two of my strides for landing. One, two. Two of my strands for half a counter stride. And then, strands, strides. Two more strides to finish the stride. <laughs> and then two for takeoff. That is, I did not explain that well. Then I've just put a cavaletti in case I want to change the rain over it. And then that jump we're going to ignore. Unless we don't ignore it. So we've got the little grid, the cross pole and the trotting poles. And that should be enough to be getting on with. Sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't explain that well at all. Just get him thinking about where he's going, what he's doing. Yeah, he does enjoy stuff like this. It's a bit of a challenge and he's like, oh, look how good I am. So um, the only worry is, is that obviously I've strided it all out myself. And you heard, you just heard how much of a train wreck I am at doing that. So we'll see what he makes of it. I am imagining that I will have to try all the distances out and then I'll probably have to get off and tweak them because I don't have the luxury of having my trainer here with me. So James, send help. Thank you. Here for a good time, not a long time. So I'm going to get on now and find somewhere to put my phone. That's going to be the difficult part is how am I going to film this for you? Bolero, thank you. Can I have my horse back now, please? Hello, Innie. This is a little baby. This is Isla's foal. How old are you now? I have no idea. Two, maybe three? No, two. And this is Bolero, who you saw on my hunting video. Hey, B. Isla's on holiday in the Caribbean, so she's having a nice time. Lucky her, some of us. We don't have that luxury, do we, MJ? Let's go. I think when you're doing any sort of grid work or pole exercises or anything, it's a really good idea just to make sure they're all loose and warmed up properly. Otherwise, they're just not going to enjoy it and they're going to find it difficult. So, you know, help them to help themselves. I can't get the hang of this little phone thing that I'm using. Dad, what is this? Crazy. It's called a gimbal. If anyone's used one, let me know. I'll show you as we go past the mirrors in a second. It's like, what's it doing? It's tracking my face and I'm not sure I want it to do that. It also had some sort of beauty mode on it and I looked ridiculous. So taking that off because your girl's beautiful enough. Look, 
can you can you see that and that's what we're working with it moves and i i don't want it to move <sighs> crazy i didn't watch the tutorials that came with it because i thought it's a bloody phone stand how difficult can it be but it has a mind of its own it keeps moving so <sighs> that's a lesson learned isn't it jennifer you don't always just know best but i do i do though We've warmed up nicely and I've just taken him down the trotting poles, which surprisingly, I'm not actually sure if I've ever done a row of trotting poles with him because he kept jumping down them. So that was a bit awkward, but it's all fine. Um, so let's get started on our little gymnastics routine. Very exciting. I still don't know where I'm gonna put the camera, but that's my problem and not yours. For those of you that don't know Mr. Jones, I know there are a few new people to my channel. He's a four-year-old ex-racehorse and, um, oh, excuse me. And he spent the summer show jumping and his attitude is brilliant. Mentally, he's there, like he's a winner. He just needs to brush up his technique because these thoroughbreds, they're just not, they're just not as gifted as your warm blood jumper. They just aren't. Um, so he does need a bit of help remembering that he's got four legs that need to clear the poles, not just his front legs. Back legs got to come too, boy. So, um, yeah, this will help with all of that. And it's good for any horse. It just, it's something different. It's not just jumping a course on them. It's a new challenge, but it's not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of brain power for them. So let's jump down this line. Can you see that? And, um, yeah, let's go. on the wrong lead but on the whole it was pretty good so he's just a bit stiff poles just put that jump back up and I've made the cross pole a little bit steeper just to get him really really picking up it's not actually that big it just does get their eye That felt good. Oh, I might just let him have a walk and then do it a couple more times. Why is this vibrating? What's going on? Um, my eyes are watering without my nose is running. Um, but he's taken to that really quickly. So, you know, he needs a little bit more exercise than that. So we'll let him have a walk. I keep saying so, sorry. It's my riding brain. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. Um, ah, help, where am I? Um, I'm gonna do it a couple more times on him. I'm not gonna put it up. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and just let him really get his confidence over it and understand that he's gotta get his legs out the way sharpish. And then I'll finish. I might take him for a little walk down the road, but overall it was very good. I'm not sure how good 
the videoing of my actual riding is going to be. So if you're trying to follow this along at home, I mean, you don't need to see me ride to be able to do it. That's just, just to show you that it is, it can be done. You know, I know it's very, um, very complicated, very elite level stuff that that's like Olympic show jumping. Um, no, anyone can do that. Just a few trotting poles and then a little grid and the cross pole, obviously. Easy stuff, easy, easy. So yeah, if you're stuck for something to do, it's a good exercise. Younger horses, older horses, any horses, your dog could probably do it. Get your dog doing it. Get back. We're doing some handy pony. I'm trying to get the phone on here. Back. Just easier if I get off. That's a wrap. Go and wrap some Christmas presents. Um, I need to muck out all three stables because I was a lazy so-and-so this morning and wouldn't do it. And yeah, have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. And um...